Live from the TV studios in the UK, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, let's go, everybody. Based on the popular TV series, a majorly cool game show. In the UK, many, 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 many years ago. In this episode, Crystal Maze, the time travel adventure game, the board game. Quick to the board game room. We got it. Travel in time. All right, here we go with Crystal Maze, the time travel adventure game, the board game. All right, so now in this game, you're going to get all these cool fun pieces here you're gonna get um this big crystal ball it sits in the middle almost like um uh the times fair or whatever in uh queens <laughs> but this game is from the uk so uh really cool fun game you got the crystals here all 16 of them uh, unfortunately, my, um, blaster cannon, or the, the, the crane, whatever it is, it's, uh, missing a, um, a projectile, you know, but you're gonna hook it on, this thing moves, and it's the blaster, and you gotta try to grab, and you're being timed by all this, this thing has a timer, the crystal, the timer, you get the silver and gold piece in there, then you get that little yellow ball in there, you see that? And you shake it, and then you got a timer, you turn it upside down, and you're being timed to go around this whole board, or something like that, and do what you gotta do in there, in order to succeed. So, you're gonna get these player market token pieces here, of all the uh, players in the game, okay? And, let's take a look-see around here. You're gonna get the, the um, future area. You gotta get these marbles through the maze from one side to the other, okay? And then you get these dividing walls here to make the rooms. And for the future, you gotta get this puzzle, okay? You also get these, um, for the four players, you'll get the, um, what do you call it? Um, these four uh, pieces here. And on the other side, gonna put a crystal from where you got a crystal in what area okay so everybody gets that and they put a crystal on which area they defeated they got through so I believe so I never heard of this game I never uh, knew it was around the UK so unless I did I probably just forgot because um, sometimes they had international TV channels back in the day on cable and uh, I probably patched in on this show years ago, but um, it's from 1991 or something like that. So you're going to get the silicon chips here. Okay, you got to do what you got to do with those. And this is the industrial area. All right. So then you got um, the Aztec area. And you're going to put a crystal through the top of that hole in the roof in the uh, temple here. And just like um, Curse of the Idol, you got to take the crystal and move it around, trying to figure out how to get out of the maze. And if the crystal lands and comes out of the tower within time, then you win that crystal. This is a pain. Well, not really. It's fun and exciting, but... It's like one of those um, little discs that have those mini marbles inside. You got to get those mini marbles on top of the holes. 
in his, you know, like that you give like a, like a, as like a party goodie bag toy thing. Well, instead of that, you gotta get this in on top of the temple, the pyramid labyrinth here, and on top of that hole. See that hole right there, the indentation? That's what you gotta get that little marble in on top. And meanwhile, the base of this dome here, the yellow part, is round about. So it's rounded off. So you can't you can it's it's very challenging to get this on. I don't I don't see how anybody could be able to do that, but you're gonna put that right here. <laughs> and then you got this thing here. The catapult with the archer. And here's the moat card. Now it flips over, it's got two sides. This card's got two sides, so you're gonna flip it over, and then you, you got these cards for battling. The knight and the archers, and they're more they're numbered one, two, and three, but the same kind of looking card. And then you're gonna get these five knights, the attack uh tokens, or chits, whatever you want to call them. And uh that's it. So you get all these spaces here and everything. And then you're going to get this tower here for medieval times. And there's going to be a crystal sitting on top of the platform there at the window. And when you hit this, the shield, it's going to tilt like it is right now. And then the, the crystal is going to fall off. And then you get that crystal. So it's got, it's got a lot of cool, you know, um, entertaining obstacles to go through and, and challenges to do in the game in order to win the game so uh now let's go to the instructions i'll show you i'll you know tell you how to play the game so now <clears throat> just to let you know if you're interested there's going to be um part two to this probably so but each player is going to get one of these. So now the object of the game is to win the most gold. Okay. Um, I, I was a little confused. I thought you put this in the ball. But um, I don't think you do. You just keep these silver and gold chits on the side of the board. So. But the outline of play is this. You're going to travel around the four time zones and collect the crystal in each time zone. You win a crystal if you win a challenge. The first player to collect four crystals wins the first round and has the advantage of going first into the final round when all players take a turn to try to catch the most golden tokens inside the crystal dome to win. So yeah, that, that's why they're inside there. But I don't know yet, so let's just figure it out. So now setting up the game, you're going to follow the assembly instructions on you know the inside of the box lid, obviously. And you're going to set up the game like this. You can place the crystal dome on its base in the center of the game board like so. And there's the base right there. Now, colors may vary of this game. I don't know why. Because I saw the same game, but with like a red blaster instead of yellow. And a yellow um, rocket instead of red. But I tried to get the one... I, I got the one that like um, matches the same color uh, components as... It looks like on the on the original box. So, because I'm, I'm a collector and I like to do things like that. Get everything, you know, just so exact how it is, you know. So, but, um, and if I wasn't able to do that, I wouldn't mind. I just wanted the game so badly. Because when I was looking, you know, online, I saw that, you know, I was looking up like maze games and like, you know, temple games, whatever. See if there's anything else out there, adventure games. And I saw this game, I'm like, yeah, I'm grabbing that, so... I thought it would be a really interesting uh, board game to uh, review. So now, um, you're going to place the crystals, gold, and silver tokens next to the game board. Okay. So now, um, you're going to place the colored playing pieces on their matching crystal starting positions around the crystal dome. Like so. Alright. And um, you're going to uh, choose what player to act as control. He will, he or she will be in charge of the crystals. Okay, so each player receives a crystal scorecard. These are your crystal scorecards. So green's gonna get green, yellow with yellow player, red with red player, blue with blue player. And on the other side, you'll put your crystal on where whoever got a crystal where, 
is going to be marked down with the crystal on top of this scorecard. And whoever gets the most crystals wins that round. Now, um, each player must try to uh, be the first to collect four crystals. To do so, you must visit all the time zones and win one crystal in each time zone. All right? So now, starting the game, decide who's going to start the game by shaking the crystal dome. All right? The player who spins the highest score goes first. Play continues in a clockwise direction. Now, I don't see how or why you would take this and spin. There's no dice in here or anything to see who goes first. So, just a little house rule or something like that. And also, being that I don't really know how to do that and what they mean. I just grab like a little die, a six-sided die. High roller goes first, and that's it. So, don't worry about that. That clears that up. So, now... Um... So now play continues, high roller goes first, play continues in a clockwise direction. The movement, movement, players may choose to move to any time zone to make their first attempt to win a crystal. Okay, so you could choose it wherever you want to go, you go there and that's it. Try to get a crystal. You do not have to start with the time zone nearest to your crystal starting position. Alright, so just because you start at green and it's medieval times over there, doesn't mean you gotta go there. You can go around here and then enter this time zone in the future. Or maybe you want to go in an industrial area or the Aztec area. Anywhere you want to go, you just go there or medieval times. But anyway, that's it. So now, um, entry to all time zones is via one of the four crystal starting positions. All right. So you can ent you got to enter through a crystal, you know, either red crystal, yellow, green, or blue. Okay. So now, um. Once inside a time zone, you may only move in a clockwise direction. So, once I enter the meal of times, I got to go around this way like that. I can't go back there or to there and skip there or whatever. I got to go clockwise once I enter here. So, if I enter future zone, I got to go that way or that way and then that way. You understand? So, that's it. So, now, movement on the central track between the time zones can be in any direction, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. So you're going to go, you can go clockwise or counterclockwise. You can move however you want to go once you're in the time zone. All right, so that ends that. So now, um, inside each time zone, once inside a time zone, you must attempt to land on one of the challenge spaces to take up a challenge and win a crystal. So here, that's, you know, you land on that challenge space. That's the puzzle right here. All right, that's the puzzle right here. All right, and then you got the... Uh, the crystal ball, no crystal ball, the rocket ship, which you got to do this thing, or this, the crystal is locked or something like that, or you go right to the Aztec zone, and then you enter in through there or something like that, right? Through there, and then you start in there, you get it? So, now, um, the time zone spaces, each of the four time zone spaces includes the following spaces. When you land on... Any of these spaces, you must act on their instructions immediately because you're being timed too. So what you got to do is this. So the challenge spaces, if you land on one of these spaces, you must take up the challenge shown. So the challenge space is going to be the archer. Let's just say a meal of times. So you got to do what you got to do with the archer now. And I'll explain the uh, different spaces and time zones and whatnot. So um, just hang in there. I know it's very exciting, but... Let's just uh, try to pace ourselves here. Because <laughs> this is a really cool game. I like this game a lot. I, I played it a couple of times. And uh, it's not bad. It's not a bad game. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's challenging. That, I dread that thing. The dome. Oh, man. That's, that's like uh, a mess and a half to like even bother with that thing. But anyway, it's, it's now if you land on one of these spaces you must take a challenge shown so to win a crystal you must accomplish the challenge successfully before the time runs out okay and i'll show you the challenge descriptions in a bit so now an opposing player signals when to start and turns over the crystal dome to start the timer okay so now if you're successful um you're going to uh collect the crystal from the control and you're going to place it in the matching time zones 
you know, on your disc, on your crystal time zone scoreboard here, okay? So, um, then, uh, but beware though, if you land on another challenge space in the same time zone, you must win the challenge to keep the crystal you already hold. So if you lose the challenge, then you'll lose that crystal into control, and control's going to get it back, and that's it. You don't get it. So you're going to select the challenge space, and then these are exactly the same as ordinary challenge spaces. All right, so accept that you have the option to choose which of the two challenges in that time zone you wish to take up. Okay, so now select the challenge space. So let's just say for this one, you got to select one to double. So if you land on this one, you got to do that one. You don't have a choice. But this one you have a choice because it's, you know, the double space. So now um, you're going to select the space like that. Now the locked in spaces, you get locked into the time zone. You're going to lose a crystal to another player of your choice. So these are the locks, you know, and you got locked in to a time zone. Now you got to give the crystal up to another opponent. So you get locked into the time zone. You lose a crystal to another opponent of your choice. Okay. So you pick out the player that you want to give the, the crystal to. So you must give away the crystal you won in that time zone first. And if not, you're going to give away any other crystal in your possession. So you may choose into which um, of the other players' time zones you wish to place the crystal. All right. So now um, if you hold no, no crystals on your crystal scorecard, play moves straight to the next player. So you may move on your next turn then. So that ends your turn. It goes to the next player. And then on your next turn, you got to just wait your turn to go again. That's it. So you didn't move in, you're just moving your next turn. So now um, zone move spaces. All right. If you land on the zone move space, you must move immediately to the crystal starting position of the time zone shown on the space and end your turn. All right. So the crystal time zone position. All right, so um, that's the free crystal spaces. Now the X crystal space, I'll get to you that in a bit. Now, if you land on a zone space, you must move immediately to the crystal starting position of the time zone shown on space. So if you land on the Aztec symbol here, then you got to land on, you go straight to the blue crystal, all right? And then you start your way around in the Aztec zone. Or if you uh, end up here, medieval times in the industrial you got to go and end up here uh, on, a, on green and then work your way around. It's a pretty cool game. I like it a lot. It's really fun. Um, there's a lot to do in this game. So now, um, time zone shown on the space and then you turn. Okay, now on your next turn, you may move into that time zone or continue to another time zone if you prefer. So if you were here, just because you, you went here... Or if you were here and then you wanted to go to the future, you went to the future now. It doesn't mean you got to, you land here to start in this one, but it doesn't mean you have to start and go in this one. You could stay here on your next turn and then choose to go to any other zones that you want or whatever. But it has to be clockwise, all right? You can't skip around, all right? So now, um, but then this one, another time, they mean, okay, so you can go to another time zone that you prefer to go to, okay? But I believe that you have to stick to that rule where you have to stay counter, you have to stay clockwise. All right. So now free crystal spaces. All right. Free crystal spaces. You receive a free crystal from control. That's pretty cool. I like that. The crystal is only valid for the time zone, though, through which you are currently traveling. So if you have already filled the matching space for that crystal scoreboard for that zone, then you can't keep that. You can't accept that crystal. It's free. Okay. You can't accept the free crystal. So that's too bad. But if, if you if you didn't get a crystal from that zone yet, then you, you can get the crystal. It's pretty cool. So play moves straight to the next player then if you can't accept the crystal. Now the, the, the X space, okay? The X space, if you land on the X space, the player to your left chooses one of the eight challenges for you to carry out. So if you land here, then a, another opponent is going to tell you where to go and what challenges you got to take, okay? That's pretty cool. I like that. So now if you lose a challenge, all right, you lose one crystal of to control. And if you win the challenge, you save any crystals you already hold. If you land on the X space when you have no crystals to your crystal scoreboard, play moves straight to the next play and your turn is over. That's it. 
collecting crystals. The first player to collect four crystals moves immediately to the gangway one. Okay. Now gangway one, I believe, um, is going to be right here. These little bridges here. All right. Gangway one, then there's two, then there's three, and then there's four. All right. This is like th those little metal bridges here. Okay. So now once you're there, um, your 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 turn ends. That that ends your turn, and that's it. So now the other players each take one more turn to try to collect another crystal, and they must then determine the order in which they will follow the leader into the final round. This depends on the number of crystals that each player has. So the player with the next highest number of crystal moves his playing piece to gangway two, on the other side of the crystal, and so on. So if two or more players finish with an equal number of crystals, they must line up in the order they played. Whoever was the first to collect that number of crystals has precedence. Okay? The final round. Convert the dome for the final round uh, following the assembly instructions on the inside of the box letter. So, this, this, isn't even, this crystal isn't even going to be here yet in the center of the board. My mistake. But now it is because you're getting to the final round. So... You know what you what you that eighties rock band said in Europe? It's the final countdown. The final countdown. Okay, so now um So anyway, um, the final round, um, the player on the gangway one is the first to have a go at collecting gold coins, tokens from the crystal dome. The other players then follow in the same order as their gangway numbers. As there were, are more gold tokens in the crystal dome at the start of the final round, the player who goes first has the best chance of collecting the most golden tokens. To win the game, each player must try to shake the most gold tokens out of the crystal dome with within one period of the timer each gold token is worth one point each silver token is a, is a point lost Yeesh. when your time is up count up all the gold tokens subtract all silver tokens and keep a note of your final score note that the lowest score is zero obviously i mean where'd you put the squad card to tracy <clears throat> so anyway if you lose more points than you win your total will only drop to zero Winning the game. The player with the most points wins the game. And that's Crystal Maze. The time travel adventure game. The board game. Version of the TV game from back in the 90s um, in the UK. Alright, so now anyway. Um, I'm going to explain to you the Crystal Maze challenges. Now, each Crystal Maze challenge must be completed within the period of the timer. If you don't succeed at first, keep trying until your time is up. Challenges may be removed from the game board to make them easier to play. Okay? So, Medieval Time Zone. Castle Keep. Alright? This is the one right here. Alright, Castle Keep. Now, the Castle Keep, you're going to get this tower here. You're going to put a crystal on top. And, um, I wasn't supposed to show you that part. Excuse me a second. Okay, now, so this is the um, the crystal 